Rumour has it that Meghan Markle was told to leave a private polo match that William and Harry were both taking part in. They allowed her to stay on the first day, but she kept coming back day after day until she was finally escorted off and blocked by security. It was around this time that William shared his doubts about Meghan Markle. At the time, Pop Sugar reported that Meghan travelled to the Coward Polo Club in Ascot, England, to watch Harry compete in the Audi Polo Challenge. The polo match raised money for Harry's charities, Centre Bale and Wellchild, and boasted A-list guests like Harry's former classmate Eddie Redmayne, Strictly Come Dancing judge Darcy Bustle, and Crown actor Matt Smith, who coincidentally plays Harry's grandfather Prince Philip in the Netflix drama. Meghan showed up all dressed up, mimicking Julia Roberts, she bonded with Mark Dyer, a former Welsh Guards officer and close friend of Harry, who helped set up his Centrebell charity. Harry and Meghan then shared a sweet kiss by their car after the match. At one point, she was caught rummaging around in the back of Harry's car. Security intervened, but she came back a couple of more times to rifle through it. Each time, security intervened until she backed away. As they approached the last time and she didn't come back again. She got in with her best friend Marcus from Soho House the same evening polo teams had dinner with VIP guests, where Meg had in secret arranged the so-called money shot of her and Harry at a table that she was promised a huge sum of money for. However, Royal Blogs on Tumblr got wind of this ahead and notified the palace, who stopped it being published. That's why William stopped Harry from smuggling Meghan in on day two, so she never came further than the car park, and she had to rent a paparazzi photographer. Meghan dressed in jeans and was escorted straight to a chauffeured car. Shortly thereafter, she made a surprise appearance at Inskip's wedding, dropped off by the Mulroneys, since they were officially on a break. But she was asked to leave early the next morning and driven to Jamaican Airport by Harry's protection officers. According to Angela Levin, Meghan Markle is so domineering in a relationship with Prince Harry that he's frightened of her. After stepping back as senior royals in 2020, the couple have dished the dirt on life in the firm, alleging maltreatment in a tell-all interview with Oprah Winfrey, a Netflix series, and Harry's memoir Spare. But though they claim life was hard enough to make them leave the UK, Miss Levin, author of biographies on Harry and Queen Consort Camilla, thinks it's Meghan who causes Harry distress behind the scenes. Speaking to GB News, she claimed Meghan is thought of as delightful, unless you say the wrong thing, at which point she becomes really scary. She added, I think Harry is frightened of her because of the way he looks at her. He doesn't want to say something if she wants to speak. If she wants to talk to someone before him, then he steps back. He's very nervous. I think she commands everything, because this is not the Harry he was a few years ago. He said himself, what Meghan wants, Meghan gets. Miss Levin went on to say that it was a tragedy because the Duke lets the Duchess say and do things that anyone else would say were wrong.